Weather's just toying with me. It's sunny today, but looking out the window, it was super hazy. Just have to get out there on another adventure and see what we can see. Let's go. Today, I'm in Queens. Today's little adventure is to go see Flushing Meadows Park, the home of the 6465 World's Fair. You may know Flushing Meadows Park from movies such as Men in Black. It's where they store the alien ships, you know. It's also got the big globe, the Unisphere, and I've never been there. So I figure it's a good opportunity to go check it out. Subway station drops you right by the Met Stadium, which is City Field. Also LaGuardia Airport. There should be plenty of planes flying overhead today. You walk along this boardwalk here, which goes over the train yard. And then up here, we're about to get to the tennis stadiums where the US Open happens. It doesn't seem like it's quite as hazy now, but I think it's just the time of the year that we're getting to. The sun always is kind of low on the horizon. It's actually a beautiful day. I just have to watch out where I point in the camera lens. I said the 1964 World's Fair, but I forgot it was also the 1939 World's Fair. They recycled the location. I'm gonna have to get the map out because I'm not sure where anything is here. It's a huge open park here. In its heyday, during the World's Fair, there would have been all sorts of booths and vendors and different worlds and all sorts of stuff set up all around here. Look it up, 64 World's Fair. It's a pretty big deal. And I see lots of playgrounds over here, lots of open space, it's really nice. And I'm walking over here by the tennis complexes that they use for the US Open. I was assuming that I would see the huge unisphere sticking up somewhere, but I'm gonna have to get the map out. Or maybe, they, oh, I see a mist on the horizon. I'm not kidding, actually. I just came across a sign talking about the park's retired animals. And it took me a minute to understand what it was talking about. But it's these guys, old playground animals that are now past their prime. The sign says to take pictures with them, but don't climb on them because they're retired. It's kind of funny. Anteater. I do actually see mist over here. I think it's surrounding whatever lake this is. That's not where the Unisphere is, but we'll walk over there and check that out first. So this statue is actually called the Rocket Thrower. Since the World's Fair took place in the mid-60s, it was right in the middle of the whole space race. A lot of the things around the World's Fair in this park were kind of space-themed, including this guy, also the Unisphere. Uh, there was an astronaut's park, I believe, which is not here anymore, but stuff like that. So that's kind of cool. Fits right in with my love of the space race. He's hurling a rocket into space, at the same time reaching for constellations. Pretty sure these are supposed to have water in them. I'm not sure if it's for swimming or like a reflection pool situation, but they look kind of empty. Some planes taking off. There's another one right there. All right, I'm gonna head down toward the Unisphere now. Taking a shortcut, don't tell. I caught my first glimpse of the spaceships. 
that's not what they are, but we'll head over there in a few minutes and check it out. The mist was not the lake, but rather just mist. I don't think I'm gonna walk through it though. It's not exactly warm today. There it is, that's the Unisphere. So again, keeping with the space theme of the 64 World's Fair, the rings that circle it are orbital tracks of early satellites. The capital cities of the countries, I think were once lit up. I don't know if they're still lit up, but it's big. It's pretty cool in person. I've never been over here. I'm gonna go walk around. <laughs> It also has the relief of major mountain ranges on it, which you can see when you get right up to it. You don't really see that as well in pictures that you see of it. It's pretty cool. This thing is really impressive up close. I'm glad I came over to see it. Over here we got the Queen's Museum. Hard to say what's in there. Probably some stuff. Maybe some stuff about queens. The things that I keep calling the spaceships, that was actually part of the New York State Pavilion in the World's Fair, and those were observation towers. Let's head over there. Again, never been over here. As you get closer to these observation towers, you start to get a feel for the scale of them. They're really tall, actually. Impressive. Of course, they're closed now. They've been closed for years and years and years. They've got scaffolding up on them, so it looks like they're doing repairs. I don't know if they're actually trying to get them to the point where they could open them again, but that would be cool someday. At the base of the observation tower, they've got the Queen's Theater. I'm not sure exactly what they do here, but I'm pretty sure it is a theater and I know we're in Queens. Well, there's our answer. Sign says reconstruction of portions of the observation towers. Cool. Walking next to the New York State Pavilion here. Got this whole thing in the middle. You used to be able to walk around in there, but of course, now it's closed. They're just working on it. Fences are not my friends. Again, the sheer scale of this thing is impressive. I really wish I could go in there. And I will try not to get run over by this truck coming up behind me. You know, he's going that way. Yeah, you got time capsules deposited here in 1938 and 1965 by the Westinghouse Corporation. A record of 20th century civilization. I wonder what's in there. Maybe a Beatles album or two. Maybe Jimmy Hoffa. It's hard to say with such things. Got the Long Island Expressway right behind me. Here's a people bridge to get across. Head over into Queens. There's a skate park right next to the New York State Pavilion. I'm pretty sure the background of Flushing Meadows Park before they decided to put a World's Fair here was that it was a dump. And then they figured they'd put a park on it. And now I feel like I need to clear my mind. So I'm gonna walk over to the Garden of Meditation, if I can find it. <music> So I found the meditation garden, and if we're being totally honest right now, a meditation garden right next to the Long Island Expressway is not very conducive to meditation. Just my opinion. But it's nice. In the end, this is a really nice big park. It's got all these roads that run through it with names like the Avenue of Africa, the Avenue of Commerce, the Avenue of Progress, United Nations Avenue. But it's a park, so they're all closed right now. What's interesting though, is looking at all this and realizing that this was like a massive fairground at one point, and there would've been people moving all over the place here, and there would've been buildings built all through here, different pavilions. That's neat. Historical context, kinda cool. I don't know that there's much left to see, but let's see what else I can find. You know what I did find though? Bathrooms, or rather a comfort station. 
Fountain of the Planets. It's not on. Maybe it's cool when it is on. Hard to say. This is the place beside this big pool where the fountain and the statue and the unisphere all line up. Imagine the fountain was doing anything. It would look very cool, wouldn't it? Nice. The map says there's an ice rink over there somewhere. Looks like a pool. No, no. Hard to say. Maybe the ice rink is on the other side of the pool. This park has a whole bunch of really nice soccer fields. With the artificial turf and everything. Seating. It's nice. Well, that was a very nice walk in a big park with a lot of historical significance. Not a whole lot of excitement here, but worth seeing, especially just to witness the scale of the New York State Pavilion and the Unisphere. It was pretty cool. Now I'm heading back across the bridge over the train yard, catch the subway home. Pleasant little trip, a nice little park. It's a big park actually. And the weather turned out to be amazing. Can't complain at all. Now I'm back up to the east side, heading home for lunch. See you next time. Bye.